Hello, everybody. I am Joanne. I have recently passed my ANCC FNP uh, boards, and uh, yeah, and I wanted to give back to all of you to help you uh, pass the boards because it sucked. It freaking sucked. It's hard. It sucked studying for it. So I made a. I'm trying to make a little video. Uh, under 10 minutes to explain how to get all your questions correct when it comes to heart murmurs because let's face it a lot of our, a lot of us suck at heart murmurs right i know i did I, I i still do the purpose of this video is solely to help you with heart murmurs for the exam when you're practicing you should probably need more detailed for the exam this is all you have to know okay so let's start the three things that I had on my little cheat sheet prior to starting to my exam. So I wrote everything out so I wouldn't forget in case my anxiety took over. Um, three out of many others, but three in regards to the murmurs were the heart valves. You know, you have, to, you, you have to know the basics. More than you know, the exam is actually about the basics than it is about, uh, not more than, but a lot of it, you have to know the basics heart sounds and things like that, okay? So one thing out of the three is this little beautiful heart. This is how I remember my heart valves. So A, P, T, and M. And if you don't know this, you should probably review. Aortic, pulmonic, tracupid, and, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correct, and mitral. So Adam and Peter are my homeboys because they're on top of my heart. They're at my base. That's They are my, my childhood friends, okay? So that's where Adam and Peter are, and Adam really likes my freaking neck, okay? And this is the right side, and this is the left side, and in the middle. And then Peter, make sure you know that Peter, our pulmonic, is at the second intercostal space. Know this, hint, hint, okay? And then we have uh, Tom, he's just chilling here. And then we have Mitral, which is on my mic. And Mike loves my pit, and Mike is also... um where the apex and the PMI are. And Mike is, or mitral, is at the fifth intercostal midclavicular mid space, okay? Or level, I should say. So ICS, MCL, right? Fifth ICS, MCL. Remember that hint, hint okay? That's where, that's where that dude is. So this is one thing that I would remember for the exam, and I can crush, I can close my eyes, and I can always visualize the actual, the actual really heart, not my fake heart here, and where things flow and how it goes. But really, this is all you have to know, literally. Um, so the other two things I would remember is Mr. Pass MVP and Miss Art. I'm sure you've heard this before, but Mr. Pass is for the systolic. This is why I have the systolic. Um, circled and uh, yeah this one so mr stands for mitral regard the p stands for physiological the as stands for erotic stenosis hint hint one of the really common questions to ask on the boards systolic is for the s and the mvp is for mitral valve prolapse which by the way can also be called mitral valve Regard, hint, hint. So don't confuse that and don't be thrown off if you see, see that on the exam, okay? Um, and these guys, the systolics, are the only ones that can really radiate. So if it's asking a radiation question, think systolic. Think, think Mr. Pass MVP. And when you think Mr. MVP, go back to that heart, wherever my heart is. I think where the valves are, okay? But we'll get that. We'll work on a couple questions together so you understand what I'm uh, I'm trying to say. And then Miss Art. What is Miss Art? MS is stand, stands for mitral stenosis. The AR stands for aortic regard. And the D stands for diastolic, which is usually bad, right? So, hint, hint. Most questions on the boards will be about systolic. Okay, more common ones from personal experience. So, you know, like aortic stenosis and mitral regard, things like that. Okay, so these three things you have to know. It has to be on a piece of paper. You have to know either in your head or on the paper. Okay, 
So let's put this to work in regards to questions. Let's say a question asks you, which of the following radiates to the neck? Okay, the question might be more complicated. It might give, throw some, you know, uh, more complicated question. It might throw in things like, uh, uh, how is holly systolic, which right there, that would actually give it away, but um, I can't even think of it, but uh, more complicated. It might be like a case, but either way, out of that case, you need to get which radiates to the neck. If you get out of that out of it, which you will, because I'm telling you, it's not that complicated, you can break this down. So, question, which radiates to the neck? A, is it mitral stenosis? B, is it mitral regard? C, is it mitral valve pre-prolapse? Or D, is it aortic stenosis? Okay, so let's break this down. Let's break this question up. So first, does mitral stenosis radiate to the neck? Let's look at our heart. Where's the mitral stenosis? Mike. Mike is right there at the apex. Mike likes the, a Mike likes the pit. He's probably, it's, he probably doesn't want to go way up there to the neck. So I'm pretty sure I can, you know, get rid of that answer. However, Let's just double check this by our Mr. Pass MVP and our Miss Ard. So, we know from earlier that only systolics radiate, right? So, we know that systolics are only Mr. Pass MVP. So, is our mitral stenosis in this equation of Mr. Pass MVP? No. Because mitral stenosis is right here. So this question, this, this answer's out. That is not correct. You know, if you're completely clueless, that is not correct. Okay, so the next one. Which one radiates the neck? Is it mitral, mitral uh, regard? Okay, so if we look at the heart again, mitral regard is down here. Mm -hmm. Likes the neck, so probably not. It is a systolic. However... It's down here. It's not gonna radiate to the neck. No freaking way. So that's out. So then how about the next one? MVP. MVP. Does it go to the neck? So again, if we look at our heart. It's down here. Mike likes the pit. You know you're gonna go up, I'll go to the neck. Forget it. And if we check this MVP with our Mr. Pass MVP, because again, it radiate only systolics radiate. Um, MVP is here, but if we look at the heart, so that's what, don't let this get conf confuse you, if we look at the heart, it's down here, so it's important to remember this, uh-uh, no freaking way, no way, okay, so lastly, the last answer is aerotic stenosis, does aerotic stenosis go to the neck, okay, let's look at the heart, where is aerotic, it's Adam, right, it's my buddy Adam, he's up here, and Adam likes my neck. Is that probably the answer? Well, we eliminated the three other ones, so most likely. So if we check it with our little Mr. Pass MVP, is our aortic stenosis here? Yes, so we know it's systolic. We know it's here, and we know this beautiful picture. We know Adam loves the heart. That's the answer. It's really, really that simple. I'm not even kidding. It is that simple. Um, and another one you should probably know is which one radiates the axilla, right? So I'll go through this one quicker so I can get this video under 10 minutes. So which of the following radiates the axilla? A, physiological, okay. What does that mean? So, so nonspecific. B, aerotic stenosis. C, aerotic regard. Or D, mitral regard. Okay, so A, physiological. Hmm think about that yeah you know we know physiological are under uh, Mr. Pass MVP right because the P is physiological so we know those are systolic so okay maybe but so non-specific that's a weird answer so about um so what and we know that systolics radiate radiate but they radiate 
to more than one place, right? Because they can radiate to the neck or the pit, the armpit. So, okay, whatever, we'll put it on hold. So erotic stenosis, well, prior, other than the prior answer, we know it's, uh, we know it's right there, and we know that Adam likes the neck, and we know it's systolic, so that's out, right? How about aortic regard? Oh, shoot. This one goes to the neck, too. Uh, but can it go to the neck? No, because if we think about it, aortic regard is actually a diastolic, and those do not radiate. So you can, you can eliminate that by the fact that you know that it's a diastolic and does not radiate, okay? So that is out. And then lastly, mitral regard. Well, does mitral regard radiate to the axilla or radiate to the armpit? Well, let's see. Mitral regard is in here, so we know it's systolic, so we know it's going to radiate, so that's a plus. And then when we look at our heart, it's down here. And we know Mike likes the pit. So, hmm, that seems like the right answer. That is it. That's really all you have to know for these types of questions. And the questions I brought up, you should definitely make sure you know for your boards. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if uh, Also, please let me know if you enjoyed this video. This is my first video I've ever made. And if you do, I will make more videos on the same topics um, so you understand things because we should stay united and strong and um, do this together. All right. Thanks, you guys. Good night or good day.